yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Assessor here, bringing you guys yeah, another video here today, bringing you guys a cool little After Effects tutorial on how to create your own animated video overlays. Now, I know it's been a little bit too long because I do feel like I let this video go out for a little bit too long for the reasons being, if you guys do remember, I did a video like this like, I don't know, like a year ago or so, and I did this in Cinema 4D. If you don't remember, let me give you a quick little refresh. But, you know, I'm gonna show you guys a cool little base, like, you know, how to actually do something like this. It's kind of fun just to waste some time or just if you really want Look at that. Did you just see that? Did you see? Maybe like the overlay in the top like right now or something to show you guys what we did at the end of the project. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that's something guys i actually uploaded that video 320 likes so i expect nothing but more likes on this video than ever um simply because i'm gonna be doing this in an actual program where i feel like this should be done um you know maybe if i was a little bit better at 3d stuff kind of like rendering in cinema 4d maybe it'll come out cooler however that was a fun video however i want to show you guys how to do the same exact thing basically with an after effects using however um kind of like this theme this theme of the overlay see this little bottom part here i'm gonna be kind of reanimating this to kind of make it look a little bit cooler kind of come in in a cool fashion like video production right kind of like sort of introducing a video overlay and kind of like having it f like do whatever you want it to do transition wise and then continue on with the video so it's gonna be a little cool little thing fun little project for you guys to do if you guys want to try it yourselves of course 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below as always it's probably gonna be the aep file of this video here today possibly the after effects file and uh, i am going to be putting one thing in the description down below it'll be this photo here which is going to be basically um an overlay kind of template to kind of give you guys the shapes that are going to be on the bottom here like so right here um so yeah i'm gonna be doing that today and then uh yeah uh yeah just go ahead and go get that really quickly if you guys want to and let's get this thing going so okay let's go ahead and do this so new composition of course right click new composition and we're gonna go with the 1920 by 1080 we're gonna press okay duration is gonna be at 15 seconds i'm not gonna be really worrying about that too much i just want to kind of get the whole premise out of the way so pressing okay now and then I'm going to say, like I said before, drag this overlay file in. If you guys don't have this inside your workstation, simply just drag it in for where you saved it and then throw it right into here. It'll be right here, just like so. And you want to just drag it into here, your layers. And as you can see, this is my little simple, cool, fun kind of start, right? This is kind of like a three-shaped um, overlay. Very simple, right? As you can see, the three shapes will be this middle black one. Um, kind of four shapes in a way. And this middle black one, this bevel kind of thing going on here. Um, this back one for this like that little gray here and then of course this yellow going on here I almost said blue for some reason this yellow kind of shape that's kind of going to be a very simple shape to do with an illustrator or not illustrator with an after effects very simple stuff and having a trace is almost even easier right um so yeah if you guys want to kind of maybe do it yourselves and kind of do it within photoshop first and like get like the shapes at least and then kind of drag it into after effects do that as well or even just drag the freaking file in of yourselves however whatever way you want to do it this is what i'm gonna be starting off with and this is what i'm gonna be going for so let's get this thing going first thing i'm gonna do is every time you're gonna be doing this you're gonna be making a new shape layer so you're gonna go to right click new and you're gonna make a shape layer because we're gonna be using the pen tool for basically every single thing we're gonna be doing so on this new shape layer the pen tool is located right up here right in this toolbar the pen tool um, if you press G on your keyboard, it brings up the pen tool itself. If you're on a different tool, just like so, if I press G, you see it brings it up. And now if you press G multiple times, it will rotate through the different selections of the pencil that you have. However, it's simple to just kind of like, you know, click and just click where you need it, right? So, what we're going to do first is, of course, we're going to pencil out this middle, our first kind of shape, our first rectangle here. So, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, holding Alt, and I'm scrolling in. I'm going to click right over here, and I'm going to click right down here. And I'm going to click like right here and here. Let me make sure that's a straight line. If you want to make sure it's a straight line, hold shift and then select uh, your point for your pen tool. And it'll, it'll make sure that it's a straight line. And then click here. And this is close enough for me and I'm good with that. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much change the color. I don't want this orange. I want a nice, cool, uh, dark kind of gray, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just take it, move it down here. And I'll say like right here is pretty good. Pressing OK. Now, as you can see, it's a very simple shape going on here, right? Just like so. And I just changed the color by either you can just select the layer like this. Or you can use the selection tool. And then click the actual shape. And then go over to your fill says, or where it says fill. And then kind of just select your color, whatever the heck color you want. And I'm going to choose this nice little kind of black. And what I'm going to really do really quickly is add a simple solid. You don't need this. However, of course, you don't want to actually want it when you actually render it out or whatever um, because you don't want an actual background anyway. However, I'm just going to put this background here just so you can see kind of like what's going on here. 
just for like you know purposes right all right so with this shape here we're gonna actually make a bevel now as you can see here this is kind of like a bevel what i'm talking about it kind of looks like this is a sharp edge to a very simple flat kind of uh shapes right these are basically two flat shapes however together they kind of sort of look like it's almost like a like a bevel that this is like a very nice sharp corner here and that's what i kind of want right so to do that all i'm going to do is basically add a yet again another new shape layer and with this shape layer i'm going to be using the pen tool g on my keyboard and i'm gonna just zoom in and kind of sort of just kind of trace it over again so i'm gonna kind of select the the, the top over here i'm gonna kind of guess where the middle is i'll say like right here is where the middle is located now if i just go over to the right side and then hold shift to make sure it's a straight line and kind of select right there and then select on the top corner and then select over here just like so and there we go we have our second shape that's kind of overlapping the first shape that we made now if you're for every reason your color is not uh, the same color as before this is the different of course this is a different shape if yours is not the same color as before simply do that is when you select on this shape right here or you select the actual layer itself and you go to the fill up here you can just select the eyedropper tool which is kind of like located within a color picker you select it simply and you can see wherever you kind of move your mouse is kind of where it's going to be so if i select on this canvas that we're working on and i select the same exact gray that we use for the first uh little shape here if i just select it just like so you're going to want to do that because what you're going to do after that is whatever the color it is doesn't matter whatever color it was however mine is black so it's a little easier for me to kind of guess where it was but i'm, I'm just making sure that you guys know how to select the exact same color you simply just select, uh, select this white circle here and just drag it up drag it up to enough where you kind of see a nice good even kind of difference between the two tones of whatever colors you're using you press ok and you can like select over here if you want to like kind of see what's going on here and there you go you kind of have this nice simple beautiful bevel that just looks good and it just it just makes me feel happy when i do it so i like to do that and um <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and kind of sort of do the next part, which is going to be the little what yellow we have going on here. So simply, I'm going to actually rename these really quickly. We're going to name this. This is the bevel. So we'll call it the bevel. And then this is the kind of the main layer. So the main, we'll just call it main. And then we're going to make it yet again another shape layer. Drag this down using the pen tool. It's G in this program. Always press P for some reason. Um, and we're going to simply kind of just pen tool out this shape and now when i say pencil out this shape i do mean kind of sort of penciling out not one shape at a time just i'm just gonna what i'm gonna do is simply uh what's going on here why is that uh there we go oops oh i selected the uh different shape all right boom basically what i do is i'm kind of just gonna sh i guess pen tool out the shape itself within here oh god i keep pressing g multiple times and it switches my key and it's annoying the heck out of me just saying all right i gotta be used to this pen tool g thing it's not p on my keyboard anymore um uh, let's see cooperate okay and then up here gotta move this over a little bit as well maybe move this one over a little bit as well and then come right down here and then connect it and we're zooming out so you can see it's kind of like a, a weird shape however this is behind everything so you're not going to be seeing anything else besides what's going to be shown which is on the top side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my fill here i'm going to go to this orange i make it orange because i want to or even like a reddish orange whatever color the heck you guys want um let's see does that look good i think that does look good if i just get rid of this other picture here you can see it looks pretty okay now uh, i mean it's even enough right like, we're just gonna go for tutorial purposes here that it's even and it looks okay and it's definitely not even because this is hella weird looking all right let's just kind of let's give it a little bit of love um no mm -mm. that's not really that even oh it's gonna tilt the hell out of me i know it's gonna make you guys so mad dude we're gonna have to just let it go we're gonna have to let it go for today boom that's close enough that's even enough let's just say that's even for every ocd person ever however i would make sure it's even of course but for now i'm just gonna let that go let that slide now this is of course the back plate layer for like the color a little bit of nice little color tint to come out now for whatever reason you kind of want maybe a gradient of some sort if you guys want to it's located under effects generate and i believe it's called ramp right and so what you can do is pretty much you already had your color selected from the first time right you can select your little eyedropper tool and just click up there click up there again and kind of get the same exact color right away 
Now, if you guys, just, just so I can show you really quickly, if I just make this color a dramatic different color than before, green, right? If I select this little, uh, it where it says like end of ramp, and it has this little almost like a, how do you call it, like a target tool. If I kind of select like right here, you can see, or let's target this orange as well. Target like right there. You can see you can get two different tones of color if you guys choose to. Now for me, I'm just going to make this, uh, this green, not this orange, but like basically a little darker maybe. And like a little bit of a different tint maybe just like so to kind of have like a nice little gradient thing going on here you don't have to it's just kind of like the thing that you can do if you guys wish to and it looks pretty cool if you guys end up doing it even two different colors even so that's like this back plate we're gonna call this uh what are we gonna call this we're gonna call this uh the, the color one yep and then this is a layer probably made on an accident yes it is and okay so last but not least is one more last like little shape layer which will be this little kind of like extended stuff going on here and then we'll animate it really quickly right because it'll be very simple uh we're probably gonna be using two different kind of transitions however you can go explore as much as you want but for now we're gonna make a new shape layer drag this below everything and then take our pen tool which is g and we're gonna zoom over here and we're gonna go ahead and make a nice back plate little thing going on here and then connect it and then for this color we're gonna make this pretty much like a white Press an OK, and now I no longer need this little uh, this little PNG here anymore. However, I'm just gonna keep it there just in case. But this is now basically remade the PNG just like so, and these are all different layers within After Effects now, and no longer a PNG as you can see. Right, very simple, very cool, and uh, we're pretty much ready to simply animate this thing. So. The first thing you want to do is kind of figure out how much time you want, of course. I put mine to 15 seconds. Like I said, it doesn't really matter for me right now. But I'm going to be using for this tutorial a simple 0 to 2 seconds for my animations to be kind of like started. So to, for what I want to start this animation with is the main actual little uh, shape here, which is like right here, located right here. And kind of have this one kind of slide from nowhere and to kind of appear in a way. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to select my main layer. And that's how, you, of course, you're going to select every single transition. You want to select the layer itself, and then you want to go to Effects. You want to go to Transitions, and the one that I like the most right now is uh, Iris, your Iris Wipe, right? Just like so, if I select Iris Wipe, if I just quickly get rid of everything else that you can't see, right? I only show this actual one shape. And if I go to the outer radius here, you're going to see this is sort of the, the transitions, like, which are going to be keyframing most likely. And this is it right here. Now, for me, as you can see, you can see this little little target tool right here. This is depending, this is kind of like the focal point of how this iris wipe is going to work. For me, what I like to do is I like to select this little focal point thing right here and then kind of sort of guess the middle, but you don't have to really guess. You can kind of sort of measure with this little thing right here. These two things kind of gives you the middle pretty easily, right? Select the middle. And that way, when I do this little uh, outer radius kind of transition, you can see that it starts from nothing. And all of a sudden, you kind of zoom in more to get to zero. And then it, it's basically something at the end, right? It's very cool, very simple. I like this kind of transition, and that's what I'm gonna be using. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically figure out what, uh, like, kind of like my number I have to put in when I go to the right side, is how far it takes to get to the right at the end, right? Perfectly, just like mm, we'll say like 690 is no longer you can't see anything, and this is where I'm gonna keyframe. So I'm gonna keyframe that just like so, and if I just move up to two seconds. Uh, or roughly and then just pretty much type it in zero because that's the zero we're gonna need of course and then you can see from zero seconds to two seconds gonna do a simple little uh wipe now if you want to see your keyframes just simply click on the layer itself on the main layer press u on your keyboard and then you can see the keyframes no matter whatever whatever is keyframed on it if you do two different uh transitions or whatever the heck you put on it no matter what if you press u on your keyboard within the actual layer you'll see all of the different keyframes that are in there and you're good to go now for me what i'm going to do is why i show these keyframes is because i want to sort of show you guys easy ease and if you don't know easy ease if you didn't watch my entrance tutorial it's pretty cool it's going to make it look a little more cooler right uh in the simplest way so if i just show you guys this it's a very slow simple animation point a to point b with no real kind of character to it and that's what i kind of think easy ease is doing it's kind of showing a little character so what i'm going to do really quickly is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to highlight these little two little uh keyframes here just like so simply click on the outside and then drag and kind of finding it right and then right click on one of the keyframes go to keyframe assistant and then go to easy ease and then you're going to go to graph editor basically easy ease i'm going to be talking about kind of giving a little character kind of speed up the transition between point a to point b go to graph editor here select this little uh point here and you can see this graph so it's, it's, very, it's very simple animation point a to point b so if i just take these two points 
and kind of move them in a little bit right you can move one in It'll, basically what this will mean is it's going to go really fast kind of slow down and slow down slow down slow down now but i want to what i wanted to do is kind of go really fast slow down for a quick little second and kind of go back to going a little bit more faster so i'm gonna move this one a little more in and then what i'll do is really quickly render it for you guys and you'll see it does more of a more of a character kind of animation it's no longer like a point a to point b slow animation it's like a nice little it's very smooth and it looks really good and i really suggest you guys to do it as well and we're basically going to do that to every single thing we do i want to make sure i just kind of go in depth for the first kind of shape layer because it's the most important for me so now that i have this here what i'm going to go ahead and do is make sure i have my bevel and stuff going to be coming in as well so i will start with the bevel next so i'm gonna say after about right here let's say like midway 75 percent of the way of the transition done we're going to take our bevel and we're going to do the same thing with the iris but we're going to start at a different time of course so transition iris wipe and we're going to take this here make sure it's in the middle uh, right here just like that it's in the middle now and i'm going to go ahead and go to where's my outer radius i believe it was 690 right 690 it should be the same if i just press enter now there we go and i'm just going to keyframe this right here and at two seconds, I want that to be done as well. So I'm gonna take this, put it at zero. That way it's keyframe. Now I'm gonna quickly just kind of scroll through and you're gonna see it's like, boom. And then right before this connects, this should come out. As you can see, it's coming out right now. This should come out and sort of meet with it just like so, very simple stuff, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Press the U on my keyboard, find the keyframes, go to easy ease now you can do easy ease in or out you can do it like manually very simply like a like a nice little preset for you guys but i just like to do it myself just like so and i'm gonna just quickly render this out ram render it's like boom just like that very it looks pretty cool so far so i'm gonna go ahead and continue i'm gonna say the color one is next now for this one i'm gonna use um we're actually gonna start it at two seconds exactly so right after everything finishes in the middle i'm gonna have the color and stuff come out so pretty much i'm gonna use for this one is effects transitions and we'll use something simple cool like cc jaws right and we're gonna go to our completion here and we're keyframing it right away and we're gonna make sure that it goes up to 100 percent because 100 percent is basically zero in this case because you want to of course start it off where you can't see it so 100 percent is basically the completion is being done so i'm gonna make sure i keyframe that at that two seconds because i don't want everything to be seen at all until i want to like show it so i'm gonna say like halfway between uh two to three seconds i'll put this back down to zero and that we're gonna see it comes in right after everything closes boom then all of a sudden the color comes in looks really cool stuff right and then we're gonna just go ahead and press u really quickly give it that nice easy ease and zoom in so i can see it a little bit better just like so all right cool if i ram preview this now really quickly if your ram preview is taking forever it, it shouldn't it's just shapes however it is if you want to make sure you just change your uh your kind of your present how does you call it your preview quality lower that way it'll render a little bit faster that does help um boom 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 that looks pretty cool see all right so the last but not least is the last little shape layer here and we'll do this at the same thing we'll do that two seconds where the shape layer is going to come in um so right when the color comes in the shape this little last shape layer will come in as well uh we're just gonna make this a very simple what are we gonna do let's just go something different um let's say is linear weird i feel like linear will be kind of weird because i feel like it would just be like a like a very simple very choppy animation because you don't see everything go through so you're just gonna see this and all of a sudden this pops up so linear wipe is probably not the best idea i need both of them to come at the same time so i just might just use the iris again okay we'll do that um get rid of linear wipe please we want iris so pretty much take this nice little thing here find out where the middle is roughly right there and then we're gonna say 690 again right is that enough press enter nope 690 is not enough for this layer we'll see right there keyframe it at two seconds and then i'll say right after this kind of ends right before this ends this will come in and it finishes well with it right so boom so i'm gonna quickly show these keyframes so you can see i started at two seconds at the nice little seven whatever how long it needs to be for the actual shape to not be there and then around the time where this kind of sort of finishes this will finish as well just like that right and then i'll kind of easy ease these in really quickly and boom and then take these i'll just kind of make this come really fast and then slow down for some reason why not boom 
perfect. It looks really good. It looks really cool, right? It's very simple kind of stuff here, and it kind of, like I said, it's kind of like a, pro a production value thing, right? You don't have to make your overlays look really cool. However, I also said these can be used as lower thirds as well. So you can put, like, leave a like or thumbs up the video or whatever the heck, um, or, like, follow me on Twitter here and then, like, maybe close it all. You can put a simple composition and you can actually make this a pre-comp. I'm just going to show you really quickly. I don't want to do this for myself right now. However, if I just make this a pre-composition, it basically means grouping everything together, right? If I group everything together here, this will basically make essentially one entire layer. So there's going to be, if I press U on my keyboard, there's no keyframes in here anymore because it's kind of sort of making it say, this is now one entire layer. To get back into the layer, you double click on it and you'll see the pre-composition. If I just quickly press the U on my keyboard now, you'll see all the keyframes again. And then when you fix the keyframes in here, it will then fix the pre-composition one within your composition actually, right? So if I wanted to say after like, I don't know, four seconds, I'm going to close everything down or wipe it away or something really cool like that. You can just go to effects while you're selected on your pre-comp uh, pre layer. Go to your effects, go to transition, go to linear wipe or something. And then sort of kind of wipe it, right? It'll start at zero, right? And I'll keyframe that right there. I'll just go to like 430, 100%. And it'll get rid of it. So if I just quickly just render it out, you're going to see goes through. So let's just say you want to say like, leave a like, and then all of a sudden it just goes, goes away, right? You can do that. Very simple stuff. I don't want to do that for today's tutorial, however, but I want to show you guys that, that was a thing. I'm pressing control Z right now. And so pretty much what I want to show you guys is you can just keep it like this, make your video overlay, put your text in there. If I just want to right click new text, throw in your text in here, overlay, uh, maybe like shrink it down put overlay in the middle whatever this is your name or something like that or if you want to get you know creative you put your twitter your everything in there it's very this is like the simplest form of after effects i'm not really showing you guys that um because it's basically kind of copy and pasting your whatever text you want giving it a simple transition if you guys wish to um stuff like that or make it fade in if you want to make it fade in if you press i believe is it t or my keyboard yeah if you press t on your keyboard it gives you the opacity so you can of course change your opacity from zero to 100 if you guys want to right so make it like maybe come in and fade in like that um so that could be a thing right so either way i was going to show you really quickly however you can make a new shape layer if, maybe for one of the people who want to do um how do you say it? Like overlays, like I did, like this video was for like video overlay overlays, like, or excuse me, video webcam overlays. If you wanted the same thing, you can kind of like, um, you probably need like some kind of uh, reference. However, if you wanted to make a rectangle, let's say this rectangle right there. Now this rectangle is gonna be below everything really quickly. With this rectangle, now the same thing goes with that, within After Effects within Illustrator. So there is a fill and there is a stroke option. So to make a stroke, which will be like the webcam kind of thing going around here, uh, you pretty much turn this off so you want to click on this oops you want to click on fill and then you want to go where it says none when you say what do i click on the actual word fill and you'll see these little layers here you can also probably make a gradient like that as well within the fill options however i didn't want to do that i wanted to use ramp because it was cooler for me and pretty much you just click on none just like so press ok go to your stroke here and then turn it on pressing ok again actually before oh, i'll do that right now pressing ok again and if i really quickly show you guys if I select this layer here, you can see that this, the actual stroke itself is very small. If I just click on this layer, make sure I pull this up right over here. And I believe you can actually make it so that you can put it on the inside. How do you put it on the inside? I forgot. Does anyone know? I forgot. I don't use that this much that often. However, if you want to put it on the inside, I don't know. You got to ask someone else. Um. So yeah, so you can pretty much just make a stroke like so. And then you can probably make your, your, uh, your, your stroke layer. Excuse me. Can't talk right now. Uh, but make maybe make your stroke layer kind of fade in as well. Uh, layer effects transitions, linear wipe maybe something very weird and simple like that. Two seconds. Make it everything finished, and then this thing will come in maybe. So zero. Boom. If I just kind of render this out really quickly, this is just like more to it. I just kind of want to just show you guys. Right, comes in. That maybe comes in and then maybe that will be like the way you then fade into like your webcam and then all of a sudden your gameplay plays i'm not sure how you would use the entire thing itself like that was just like more of like a reference kind of thing but i just kind of want to show you guys how to do this because i of course really want to redeem myself from the old 3d tutorial animation kind of thing because that was a little bit too weird for me and then i kind of want to show you guys this as it is right here so i hope you guys did enjoy 
um please leave a like on the video if you guys you know kind of want to you know, support me and stuff i i would appreciate it immensely because you guys gave this one 320 likes right this terrible one however i appreciate the support regardless thank you guys so freaking much and uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SissoHQ. Do not forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And please comment down anything you want to see me do. Of course, join my Discord, maybe. If you guys haven't joined my Discord, if you're if you're into Discord, and if you have one and use it regularly, join my Discord server. It's really cool and fun for me to just you know, talk to you guys every once in a while and share your work with other people, of course. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed once again. And I'll talk to you guys later. SissoHQ out. Peace. Oh, God, I messed this up. Moving it. Whoops. <laughs>